today we will learn another one important matter of important properties of matter that is the transparency different matters behave towards light differently some substances are here which can allow the maximum light approaches towards it they can allow all the light passes through them readily some substances cannot allow light at all and some substances are here who can allow a part of the light incident or falls on it but how can we represent them this behavior of the matter towards light by a simple diagram let's see here that means different substances allow different amount of light through them so how much light can pass through the matter or the material medium is its transparency so transparency is the ability of a matter to allow the light pass through them now just see here this is the source of light considered to be as a torch light considered to be as torch light this is the battery a double cell torch this is another one cell this is the filament of the bulb now a substance is here this is the a a is the substance here now light rays falls on it if we see that the total light ray passes through it three light rays are here and finally we get the three light rays just behind the object a so a may be considered as transparent medium so this is one effect that is the behavior of matter towards light that is a will be transparent a we consider as transparent medium transparent medium similarly in another one ray diagram here we see the arrangement here that is similarly the source of light is the taken as the torch light this is the source of light torch light is taken as the source of light now double cell is here this is the double cell battery and this is the filament of the bulb now another substance b is here light rays coming from the source of light falls on it falls on the object b four light rays or five light rays are here but beyond this we get only three light rays we get only three light rays it means that a part of the incidental light energy is absorbed by the material b so b is considered to be as translucent b is considered to be as translucent medium similarly another one material is here like this is the torch light taken as the source of light source of light is a torch light this is the switch here this is the switch of the torch light now the object c is here light ray 
coming from the torch falls on the sea but here no light is obtained no light that means all the light energy falls on the sea cannot pass through the material sea at all so this is the sea is considered to be as opaque body opaque medium so ability of the different substances are different one example of it this is clean glass clean air flint glass clean water clean glass in case of the translucent medium one example of it very common example oily paper oily paper in case of the opaque body very simple wall wall very simple so what happened when the path of the light is blocked here that means some of the light energy either reflects back or totally absorbed by the body c so let's see what happened in case of the light energy when falls on a body through which light cannot pass that is a opaque body let us consider this is the source of light torch light is used here as a source of light double cell battery is here and this is the switch filament of the electric bulb of the torch now a opaque body b b is the opaque body is here then what happen this is the opaque body b is the opaque body now light falls on him on the opaque body but light cannot pass at all so what happen in such cases here a dark region is formed just behind it a dark region is formed just behind the opaque body this is the dark region this is the dark region if we place a screen here then we see that the large dark region of circular shape is formed this is the dark region formed so this is called shadow this is called shadow so shadow is formed if the path of the light is blocked by an opaque body here b is the opaque body b is the opaque body b is considered opaque body and s is the source of light so shadow is the dark region formed just behind an opaque body when the path of the light is blocked by it but this formation of shadow may be of different types let's see in this ray diagram the dark region will be formed but there may be of two parts one part will be the deep dark region one part will be deep dark region and another part will be the faint dark region of the shadow let's see here here this is the source of light is torch now an opaque body is here here is the opaque body this is the opaque body so no light can pass through the body b here you consider opaque body always b source of light s so light ray one light ray passes through the upper part of it another one light ray passes through the lower part of it similarly another one light ray passes through here and the final one light ray passes through here if we place a screen here so this is the screen here also d this is the d is the screen d is the screen then you see that this part will be the deep dark region this part will be the deep dark region which receives no light 
which receives no light but the other part the outer part of it which receives the small light that is the p here it receives small light and also here it receives the small light so deep dark region of the shadow this is called amra this is called amra it is the central part of the shadow and the outer part of the shadow which receives small light from the source is called penumbra so there are two parts u stands for amra and p stands for penumbra penumbra so there are two types of shadow okay so transparency and the shadow in very simple way okay